In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can get rid of your blackheads permanently. Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Onyinye Anikwe. In today's video, we're going to be talking about blackheads. I'm going to be doing this video in two parts. Today's video is going to be part one. I'm going to be talking about topical treatments. You want to watch out for part two of this video because the two of them kind of go hand in hand if you want to permanently get rid of those blackheads. It's important that you know what blackheads are and what causes these blackheads because I personally believe that when you know the cause of a thing, then you're on the right path to getting the solution. What's a blackhead? The medical name for blackhead is open comedo. So what happens is that you know how your skin has follicles, right? Those holes. For blackheads, the hair follicles are usually widened. They are wider and then they are filled with debris. So you have things like oil, dead skin cells and bacteria filling up that hole. Unlike whiteheads, which are closed comedones, blackheads have wider opening, allowing oxygen to get in. And then when the oxygen gets in, it oxidizes the debris in the hair follicles and giving them that dark appearance. So the dark appearance is as a result of the oxidation of the debris in the hair follicle. So you notice that most times you find your blackheads in your T-zone areas, your forehead, your cheek. Oftentimes, you could also find it on other parts of your body. You often find that people that have oily to combination skin have more blackheads, but people with other skin types can also develop heart blackheads if they do not take care of their skin properly. Let's take a closer look at some of the causes of blackheads. One of the causes is excessive production of sebum. Sebum is an oily substance produced by the glands in the skin. The main thing this oil does for your skin is that it keeps it hydrated. When the sebaceous glands begin to produce so much sebum, it then leads to the accumulation of oil on the skin or in the hair follicle. Another thing is when you have buildup of dead skin cells. The epidermis, which is the outer layer of the skin, continues to shed dead skin cells. And this is a natural renewal process, right? But if these dead skin cells are not shed properly, they can be accumulated on the surface of the skin and then they can mix with the excess oil or sebum and then clog the pores. Another reason is bacterial overgrowth. The skin actually houses some bacteria, bacteria like P. acne. An overgrowth of this bacteria can result into blackhead. One very common reason for blackheads is hormonal changes. PCOs messes a lot of things up, right? And one of the things it messes up is how your skin looks. So you notice that during puberty, um, during pregnancy, and at several times when you have those fluctuations in the hormones in your body, you just see those, you know, you just notice that you have all manner of things on your face. Hormonal changes can stimulate the production of sebum, making individuals more prone to acne or blackhead. There are several other factors. We cannot rule genetics out. So some people are more prone to having these blackheads. Another thing is the diet. Diet is a very important aspect as well that people overlook. You notice that when some people begin to be more mindful of what they eat and they work out, especially when they are more mindful of what they eat, cut down on certain kind of foods, you just realize that your, your skin begins to get clearer. Your skin begins to look better. So your diet plays a huge role. I'm going to be talking about this a lot more, the diet aspect in part two of this video. So you want to look out for that video. And if you have watched this video to this point and you haven't subscribed, please do well to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notified when next I drop a video. Stress is another huge factor that can result in the formation of blackheads. Sometimes your medication can also affect it. And most importantly, if you're not taking care of your skin properly, you can also get blackheads. So let's move on to some of the topical treatments. Like I said earlier in this video, we're going to be focusing on just the topical treatments that you can use for blackheads. These topical treatments cannot completely and permanently get rid of your blackheads. You need to be using topical treatments alongside other practices that I'm going to be sharing in part two. One thing you want to include in your skincare routine is AHAs and BHAs. Trust me, 
Number one thing you can do is to use salicylic acid. So I started using salicylic acid as a wash off product in my skincare routine and I could visibly see changes in how my skin looked. Salicylic acid is a BHA, beta hydroxy acid. And what it does is that it penetrates deep into the skin follicles to melt down all the debris that builds up in the follicle. So see how that can help to unclog your pores and prevent blackhead. Salicylic acid also has anti-inflammatory properties. So that will help prevent redness and inflammation. You can find a lot of products that have salicylic acid, both from your toner to cleansers to face cream. It's just about finding which one works for your skin type. The second topical treatment that can be used to get rid of blackheads is benzoyl peroxide. The way benzoyl peroxide works is different from the way the salicylic acid works. Benzoyl peroxide works to kill the bacteria that cause acne and prevent excessive production of oil. Another thing you can use as a topical treatment is retinoids. You want to be using retinoids on your skin. If you're up to 25 and you're not using retinoids already, you need to start using those things. Retinoids are derivatives of vitamin A and they are very amazing because they help for skin turnover, they help to prevent fine lines and wrinkles, and they also help to unclog your pores. Another one I'm going to be talking about is glycolic acid. The most common glycolic acid is the one by The Ordinary. And a lot of people have used that glycolic acid for so many things. They've used it to brighten the underarm. It works for brightening the area between your thigh. I did a video on how I brightened my skin in two weeks. Glycolic acid is another ingredient that can help you get rid of blackhead. It is an AHA, which is an alpha hydroxy acid that helps to exfoliate the skin, get rid of dead skin cells and unclog the pores. There are lots of products that contain glycolic acid, products that can be used on your face and on your body. Glycolic acid also stimulates collagen production, improving the skin's texture and helping to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. When using these treatments that I have mentioned, you have to be consistent with using them. You also have to start your treatment slowly. Don't just jump into using AHAs and BHAs like that because they can actually dry up your skin. If you have a dry skin, you need to be aware. Please use these ingredients with caution. Even if you have an oily skin or combination skin, you don't want to jump right into using these ingredients. You want to start out slowly and then gradually increase either the concentration or the frequency of how you use the product as your skin builds tolerance. You also want to ensure that you're hydrating your skin. You can also seek the help of a professional, see a dermatologist, to help you remove these blackheads physically so they can physically extract the blackhead like i said a dermatologist go to a trained professional if you go to any kind of quack spa and they handle your face oh my goodness you're going to end up with bumps everywhere and you're going to have more scarring than you intended for yourself so please do see a professional when you want to do this manual extraction of the blackheads there's a procedure to doing this thing there are several ways that dermatologists actually help to treat blackhead one of which is manual extraction they can do microderma abrasion chemical peels and laser treatment all these are procedures that are used by trained aestheticians to help you get rid of blackheads if you're contemplating on doing a chemical peel by yourself that is not a very good idea don't try to get a chemical peel by yourself there are some things that should be left for the professionals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.